athletic physicals, but they are so much more. In addition to physical needs of a child, we also focus on their emotional and social health. Let's face it, being a kid can be hard. At Floyd Valley Clinics, our providers work with families as a team to keep pediatric patients healthy and safe. Learn more about Floyd Valley Clinics at floydvalley.org. Your community, your health, your life. Floyd Valley Healthcare. Make a smart move with Exit Realty Midwest Lamar's. Everything is smarter these days, from cars to phones, homes to refrigerators, and the real estate market is no exception. Hi, this is Jody from Exit Realty Midwest. We have the tools you need in buying or selling your home to make the process smart, including marketing technology with geolocation and digital media options. Take advantage of Exit Realty Midwest's in-depth market knowledge when you make a smart move with Exit Realty Midwest Lamar's. Time now for live coverage of the Galen Catholic Homecoming Parade on KLEM. This year's parade started on 8th Street, running north on Central Avenue through downtown Lamar's. And thanks for tuning in to KLEM 1410 AM, 96.9 FM, listening to our live audio stream or watching it on the KLEM YouTube channel. KLEM's homecoming coverage is brought to you by Dreckman Excavating, Van Sanitation, Jim's Feed Supply, McCormick Distributing, Budget Automotive, Highway 3 Nutrition, M. Catton and Company, Lolly's Eastside, Bellissimo Coffee Works, Shop Carry Boutique, Hummer's Lawn Care, Simpatico Decor and Gifts, Sugar and Spice, Lily Zeta Boutiques, Floyd Valley Healthcare and Clinics, Lamar's Barbershop, Wicked Graphics, Guardian Angel Preschool and Daycare, Julie Hertz Century 21 Pro Link, Colbeck Hay and Grinding, Jammin Entertainment, OC Detailing, Arnold Motor Supply, Scent Credit Union, Rexwinkle Funeral Home, Pro Alignment and Tire, Nohava Construction, MRK Insurance, Gretkin Family Eye Care, Love's Truck Stop, Little Rascals Preschool and Daycare, Kellen's Excavating, Timmons Construction, Old Glory Roofing, Langles Plumbing and Heating, Simonson Chiropractic, New York Life Al Potabom, High V, Wilchin Construction, Advanced Eye Health Dr. Becky D. Ryder, and by Lamar's Agri Center. We now switch to downtown Lamar's for coverage of the parade. Here is KLEM Sports Director Daniel Versteg. Well, a very pleasant uh, good afternoon to you. Welcome to the 2023 live coverage of the Galen Catholic Homecoming Parade here on 1410 AM and 96.9 FM. It's KLEM Lamar's online audio is on our website at KLEM1410.com. You can also tune into a video stream that's found on the KLEM Radio YouTube channel. Daniel Versteg with you. We're joined by uh, Galen Catholic senior Braden Bolin. He'll help uh, bring us the parade today. And Braden, I guess uh, before we before we kind of get into all the fun, just tell us uh, a little bit about yourself, what activities you participate in at Galen. Yeah, uh, I'm Braden Bolin, senior at Galen. Uh, this is my third year doing this radio broadcast, yeah. so I'd like to consider myself a kind of a vet. <laughs> um, I know my grandma Sue is listening, so I want to say hi to her and wish sure. her a happy anniversary. Um, I'm involved in uh, speech and quiz bowl and golf and baseball. Perfect. Yeah, third year doing this, definitely a, a veteran of it, and so uh, we're, we're glad to have you along uh, for this parade, and we'll uh, be, be bringing uh, you our, our, our sponsors, thanking our sponsors throughout the broadcast and uh, talking about all the uh, the great uh, uh, floats and uh, and entities that are in today's 2023 homecoming parade. The uh, coronation ceremony was earlier uh, this afternoon. So we're going to have our uh, regular openers, uh, the, the police department, the American Legion, and uh, they'll be coming by here uh, today. It was a great uh, coronation ceremony, um, yeah, with, of course, announcing the king and queen, which we'll get into uh, uh, as well. But uh, just really, uh, really a fun fun day and uh, I think it's uh, I think it's going to continue to be that throughout the throughout the rest of today so uh, we'll we'll have uh, again the parade here for you uh, the football game is coming up tonight at seven o'clock uh, Galen Catholic taking on South O'Brien um, that's at Jim Lorenzen Field there's a tailgate before that uh, make sure you bundle up it's going to be chilly today 
and uh, come out and support the Jays as they try and make a push for the playoffs. They are uh, currently in a postseason spot, uh, trying to make sure they can uh, get that done here today. Again, the American Legion uh, Wasper Post coming by. The American Legion Riders with all of their many uh, motorcycles and toys uh, coming by. Uh, here we are situated uh, on the corner of Plymouth Street and Central Avenue here in downtown Lamar's, bringing you, uh, again, live coverage of the 2023 Galen Catholic Homecoming Parade. This parade broadcast is uh, brought to you by MRK Insurance, Pro Alignment and Tire, Rex Winkle Funeral Home, as well as Scent Credit Union, Arnold Motor Supply, OC Detailing, Jam and Entertainment, as well as Colbeck Hay and Grinding, Julie Hurt, Realtor with Century 21 ProLink, Guardian Angel Preschool and Daycare, Wicked Graphics in Lamar's, the Lamar's Barber Shop, as well as Floyd Valley Healthcare and Clinics, Sugar and Spice, Lily Zita Boutique, Simpatico Decor, Hummer's Lawn Care, Shop Carry Boutique, Bellissimo's Coffee Works, Lolly's Eastside Restaurant, M. Catton and Company, Highway 3 Nutrition, Budget Automotive, McCormick Distributing, as well as Jim's Feed Supply, Van Sanitation, Dreckman Excavation, Love's Truck Stop here in uh, Lamar's, Little Rascals Preschool and Daycare, Kellen's Excavating, Timmins Construction, Old Glory Roofing, as well as Langles Plumbing and Heating, Simonson Chiropractic, Gretkin Family Eye Care, as well as New York Life Agent Al Potomom, Hy-Vee here in Lamar's, Wilchin Brothers Construction, and Advanced Eye Healthcare, Dr. Becky DeRider, as well as the Lamar's Agri Center. Our great uh, sponsors bringing you the 2023 Homecoming Parade. And who do we have uh, coming up after all the American Legion riders? All right now, coming up in that truck is a uh, yeah, priest in Galen Catholic, Father Doug Klein, the Galen Catholic School President, Father Dan Grieving, the President of Spalding Catholic, Father Bruce Lawler, the former President of Galen Catholic, and Father Tom Flanagan, who is a retired priest and a friend of Galen. Uh, it's great to have them uh, in the parade. And why don't we continue to the administrators? Coming behind them. The administrator, Mrs. Andrea Lush, the pre-K through 6th principal in her third year at Galen, and Mr. Ryan Paulson, uh, our 7th through 12th principal, and his first year at Galen Catholic, doing a wonderful job. Absolutely. It's great to have them uh, by. And then our parade marshal's coming by as well. 2023 parade marshal is going to be Carolyn Bickford. She has a servant heart, and she's impacted our school in so many ways. Mrs. Bickford taught at Galen for 37 years and been part of Miss Honduras since 2005. Carolyn bleeds green and gold and will forever be a big piece of Galen Catholic. Yeah, she's riding atop a uh, Ford Mustang as well as a shark car. And then, of course, we have uh, the mayor of Lamar's. That'd be Mr. Rob Bixenman. He was, uh, of course, part of the Lamar's community homecoming festivities. And, uh, good to have uh, Mr. Bixenman come by. Unfortunately, that has uh, uh, kind of put a halt to the parade a little bit because uh, there is a uh, train coming through downtown Lamar's right now, right across the parade route. And so... Uh, that is uh, going to put a hold on things for just a moment. But again, we do want to mention to you that the football game coming up at 7 o'clock tonight. It is Galen Catholic and South O'Brien. We're talking to Coach uh, Schindler about that uh, this weekend on the Coach's Corner. And, you know, he knows, uh, him and his guys know, tonight is a big night. You're going to need all the fan support out there. So make sure you come on out and enjoy the football game. Again, bundle up. It's not going to be too cold. It can be a lot colder for high school football, trust me. Uh, I've experienced it firsthand. So come on out and uh, enjoy the uh, festivities and the football contest at Jim Lorenzen Field as they take on the Big Bad Wolverines of South O'Brien and trying to lock up a, a postseason spot. A win tonight would guarantee, I think, that postseason spot. It would be their third win in the district. But uh, Coach Schindler doesn't want to finish last in the district, uh, last amongst the playoff qualifiers anyway. Wants to make sure he finishes third so he doesn't get a district champion, gets maybe a, a more favorable uh, opening round opponent in the uh, round of 32. So, again, make sure you get on out. It's the last regular season home game. And of course, there is no guarantee of a home playoff contest. So make sure you enjoy some Galen Catholic football tonight at 7 o'clock as they take on South O'Brien. The Wolverines and uh, again there's going to be a tailgate uh, right before the game so you can use that tailgate as an opportunity to warm yourself up with some great food and uh, I believe that was American Bank Perspective Insurance and Total Motors that are putting that on so again enjoy the uh, uh, great homecoming uh, um, you know uh, festivities festivities yeah the tailgate the football game and uh, there's there's a lot going on around Galen Catholic School which is which is really nice so um Let's see, uh, there's the football game coming up. Uh, of course, uh, also make sure you uh, 
Uh, keep in mind that the Fine Arts Boosters, they're going to be hosting their annual turkey dinner. That's going to be coming up. Uh, Thanksgiving's right around the corner, so getting uh, getting the turkey fill October 29th on Sunday. Uh, that The dinner is going to be drive through only. You can purchase your tickets uh, after Mass this weekend. Uh, dinner tickets will be the av available the uh, uh, day of the uh, Boosters uh, turkey dinner as well. So, again, lots of great things uh, coming up at Galen Catholic School. Of course, the school year's uh, just kind of getting underway, and uh, there's still plenty of uh, fantastic things. There's going to be uh, the dance tonight, of course, the homecoming dance. And, um, well, the coronation ceremony was a fun time, Braden. I yes, think it, it was. was. Uh, you know, there was all kinds of great uh, uh, performances. Yeah. yeah, it was It was just uh, cool to, to see all your all your senior buddies up oh, there. It was. I was... Uh not on court this year, obviously, mm -hmm. and normally our student council, senior student council is the one that plans a committee, but three quarters of them were on the court, so that's kind of <laughs> out of the picture. Yep. So they had to kind of go around and recruit some people, <laughs> and I was one of those people, and I humbly accepted, Yep. and it's been about a few weeks of planning, altering, changing, figuring out, you know, the game, the decorations, the questions, right. the, the everything, everything that goes on, and it was a bit of a... I don't know, a bit of a, a lot of work, yeah. But I think it, uh, it turned out great. Had a lot of fun. Yep. Um, great speech from uh, our own Mrs. Harpenau. Mm -hmm. uh, get us all <laughs> hyped about all Galen athletics yeah. and for game day tonight. Yep. I'm taking on the Wolverines. This is gonna be a huge game for us. Yes. We had Absolutely. a little bit of a rocky start, but we we've been coming back lately. Yeah. And I know Coach Schindler and the guys have been working very hard the past couple weeks, and we're ready to ready to game tonight. So I, I, we're uh, locked in. Yeah, absolutely. I'm ready to ready to see what they do. Like you said, they've been growing throughout the year, and absolutely. And yeah, a really really nice job put on by you and the uh, the homecoming crew to uh, make sure everything ran smoothly. It was a great ceremony. The game was fun. Uh, all the uh, uh, again, the speech was fun, and and there was uh, all kinds of great things. Uh, at the coronation ceremony. You can watch that back on demand, by the way, on the KLEM Radio YouTube channel. We are archive all of our video broadcasts, and we're uh, happy to do that for you. So check out the KLEM Radio YouTube channel. Once this parade's done, you can go back and watch the coronation ceremony if you missed any of that as well. Well, now that the uh, the train has uh, gotten out of the way and quit spoiling the parade, we do have the uh, 2022 Galen Catholic King and Queen coming our way. Coming up is the uh, homecoming king and queen from last year, uh, the queen Jasmine Lubin and the king Jack Kesnick. Uh, these two came back to Lamar's to crown this year's king and queen. So, big welcome back to Absolutely. Jack and Jasmine. Yeah, it's good to good to have them back. Hello. <laughs> and making sure they uh, they have them uh, they have their presence known here on our broadcast today. Good to have them uh, back here for uh, 2023's homecoming festivities. That's always the uh, the best part. After them, uh, we have, uh, I think, our first uh, sports team coming yeah, here we by. we got the Galen Catholic cross-country team, Coach Greg Meister, and the junior high and high school cross-country team coming up behind the old king and queen. Having some good meets lately, good times, a lot of PRs. So yes. good success season for the cross-country team this year. Yeah, I think a lot of PRs yesterday in Haywarden at the West Sioux meet. So nice showing by uh, Coach Meister and the cross-country team. What's, uh, what's after them? Following is Dick Ollers and Mary Hartman. These two will surely brighten your day. Mrs. Hartman is driven by Mr. Dick Ollers, and these two long-standing Galen Catholic supporters show true service and dedication, and have impacted hundreds of Jays over their many years here. It's good to have them. Uh, good to have them as part of the parade today. And then uh, we have one of our first uh, community uh, partners coming up here in just a bit. That'd be. Uh, let's uh, thank our sponsors here really quickly again. Uh, sponsors of this uh, broadcast of the homecoming parade: uh, MRK Insurance, Pro Alignment and Tire, Rexwinkle Funeral Home, Scent Credit Union. Arnold Motor Supply, as well as OC Detailing, Jam and Entertainment, Colbeck Hay and Grinding, and Julie Hurd, Realtor with Century 21 ProLink. Let's talk a little bit about Mid-States Bank uh, really quick. Yeah. Mid-States Bank is a community bank dedicated to providing the highest quality customer service through tailored banking experiences, innovative products, and highly trained employees. As a community bank, the hard-earned money that you deposit with them works even harder as they reinvest in the communities that you live in. We're still locally owned and operated with more than 110 employees in 10 Iowa locations, with three local branches in Kingsley, Lamars, and Sergeant Bluff. They're the proud of the bank they have become, and they look forward to providing the same outstanding customer service that has made us them strong and a trusted financial provider. Yeah, great to have them along, and now we are going to shut up and let the uh, Galen Catholic Marching Jays take you uh, uh, through the next part of the parade here. Uh, 
uh, get a little bit of the uh, Galen Catholic marching Jays uh, as they make their way through the parade route here this afternoon and we'll uh, of course catch them on the back end uh, in the background a little bit so uh, no they've uh, they've had a busy few weeks so uh, good to have them as part of the uh, uh, parade today and then of course the uh, the Plymouth County Fair Royalty coming up after them yeah this load here is a replica of the main entrance to the Plymouth County Fairground designed by local Lamar residents exclusively for the Queen and King and the courts to ride on the 2023 Plymouth County Fair Queen is Abigail Tilburg of Lamar's the two fair princesses are Alexis Warrior of Akron and Desiree Brewer of Merrill. Missing geniality is Andrea Penning of Remsen. The 2023 Plymouth County King is Owen Schroeder of Lamar's. The two princes are Brady Allen and Caden Worth, both on Lamar's. And Mr. Personality is Will Harpenau of Lamar's, who is also on our Galen Catholic homecoming court this year. Say, Galen Catholic's own Will Harpenau is part of the uh, Plymouth County Fair Royalty. Uh, they are driving past us here today. Uh, after them, uh, another community partner. And we've got Iowa State Bank. Proud to support the community of Lamar's and to be part of its continued success, success and growth. The Iowa State Bank staff looks forward to helping you with all your financial needs. Stop by and visit with them. They would love to get to know you. And, of course, go Jays. Absolutely. That's Iowa State Bank, another uh, great sponsor of uh, Galen Catholic uh, events. And then, uh, of course, the Galen Catholic ball is going to be coming up here uh, at the end of the uh, school year anyway. The 2024 Friends of Galen Catholic ball presents a night in Nashville. General Chairs Ryan and Tony LeBon and Ross Amanda Small are joined by co-chairs Matt and Kristen Kunz along with Michael and Maggie Redenball. And they're ready to celebrate with you and the Not Quiet Brothers Band um, on Saturday, April 20th, 2024. Yeah, keep that date in mind for the Galen Catholic Ball coming up in uh, April here uh, in this school year. After that, it's, uh, well, we're gonna have uh, some, some people make their way through the intersection while they do that. This broadcast of the Galen Catholic Homecoming Parade brought to you by Guardian Angel Preschool and Daycare, Wicked Graphics, Lamar's Barbershop, Floyd Valley Healthcare, and Sugar in Spice. Premier Communications uh, coming up next, and uh, of course they are a, a great community partner as well. They uh, sponsor plenty of things on KLEM Radio, glad to have them along. And then it looks like we're gonna have another band after the Lamar's Community Football Cheerleaders. So we are going to uh, let the Big Red Marching Band from Lamar's Community School bring you the, uh, the next little bit of their performance here at the 2023 Galen Catholic Homecoming Parade. the drum line there but that's okay the uh, big red band we were able to catch them for Lamar's community homecoming as well and uh, they are of course busy as well as the Kalen uh, marching Jays they are all uh, all are kind of competing in the next uh, few things how about uh, Prime Bank following them Prime Bank is committed to providing the best in banking while also supporting our local schools and students. Enjoy homecoming and good luck to the Jays at tonight's game. And again, that game is at 7 o'clock. Galen Catholic taking on South O'Brien at Jim Lorenzen Field. And of course, uh, Prime Bank uh, sponsoring us with some candy and sweets that will uh, immediately add a few pounds uh, to my weight. So good to, good to have that providing us uh, some nutrition here during the parade. After Prime Bank, uh, what's, what's following? So we've got the Lamar's YMCA. We'll be represented by staff and handing out Try the Y passes, as well as some candy. Just extra for you, Dan. <laughs> the next event coming up is the Santa Fun Run on November 25th in partnership with Christmas in Hometown. Yeah, I'm, not, I'm never going to complain about uh, candy, but, uh, you know, it is, it is the price you have to pay, and uh, we do appreciate uh, all the candy that comes our way. Uh, electrical Automotion is coming up next. That's uh, Troy Scheitler, uh, Installation and Service of Honeywell Building Technologies. And then we've got uh, another Galen Catholic Athletic Group uh, following them, it looks like. Uh, we got here the Galen Catholic Junior High Volleyball. These seventh and eighth grade girls have been acing their volleyball season, along with seventh grade coach Kathy Neary and eighth grade coach Heather Langle. Of course, Coach Neary was on uh, Coach Meyer's staff for a number of years. And uh, good to have her still uh, giving back to the Galen Catholic volleyball program at the youth level. 
Next up, looks like uh, Knights of Columbus coming our way. Yeah, Knights of Columbus Council, 1466 of Lamar. It's wishes of Jays good luck in their homecoming festivities and the game tonight. Thank you to all your past and future support of our council. Go Jays. Absolutely, Knights of Columbus, another great uh, community partner. And then we're gonna have uh, some dancers and uh, gymnasts and much more flexible people than I coming our way. Yeah, coming up now we got the turnaround dance, gymnastics, and cheer. They're celebrating their 46th year. They've grown to five competitive teams and will soon be moving into their new location. It'll be over 15,000 square feet wow. and feature four large dance rooms and a large updated gymnastics facility. Thousands of students have passed through the TCA doors and it is never too late to start. Go Jays. No, it's not, yeah, it's uh, it's great what they do and uh, looking forward to seeing what that uh, new facility looks like and uh, all the many great things they'll be able to do with that uh, that facility. So good to have them uh, in the parade as well. They were in the Lamar's Community Homecoming Parade as well. So that's the Turnaround Dance, uh, Gymnastics, and Cheer Academy here Some in of these Lamar's. poor girls have got to be freezing. <laughs> yeah, it, it, you ask them to, uh, to walk in a parade and then Man, they gotta they gotta lift each other and they gotta you know dance around. It's that's uh that's impressive that they can do that. Gotta get the blood pumping in this <laughs> weather. Yeah, no kidding. Maybe it's good. Yeah, you get you get the blood flowing, you get get the heat moving. Uh, yeah, it's uh, they can do some things that I I wish I could do. I, I I can only dream of doing. I can't even dream of doing. My goodness. So uh, again, uh, turnaround dance academy coming up, or uh, they have just passed us, and then we're gonna have a uh, some some big machinery courtesy of Central Valley Ag. Central Valley Ag is a farmer-owned cooperative with locations in Iowa, Kansas, and Nebraska. CVA is an innovative leader providing products and services in grain, agronomy, feed, and energy. Well, we thank them for being a part of the uh, festivities and, and bringing by their uh, their big equipment for us to uh, take a look at. And, of course, this is your yearly reminder during harvest season, slow down. They have to use the road, too. Make sure you give them room to do their job during the harvest. And we thank them for all they do for us our farmers and uh, make sure you let those uh, slow moving vehicles take their time on the roadways uh, it, it's only going to take you a few seconds for them to get off the road so uh, make sure you stay safe yeah, out there america okay. needs farmers absolutely how about uh well we got a politician coming by right. next we got representative tom jenry he's been your voice at the state capitol for five years and is looking forward to be your representative in 2024 by keeping you informed of the policies brought forth in the upcoming session uh, Jennery appreciates your support and encouragement as your representative in Des Moines. Absolutely, it's good to uh, good to have him uh, as part of the parade and good to have him representing our community down in Des Moines. What's after uh, Mr. Jennery? Here we got the Pride Group of Northwest Iowa, which assists individuals with mental illness and disability in achieving an excellent quality of life. And this is an absolutely wonderful group of people. Oh, and we've got some candy too. There we go. We'll, we'll take the trade. <laughs> Uh, that, that makes them an even better group. Uh, the Pride group uh, coming by with the trade for candy for us. Then we got some more uh, Galen Catholic Athletics coming our way. Here we got the Galen Catholic Junior High football. Let's give it up for the 7th and 8th grade football players. Uh, the future of Galen Catholic sure does look bright. Yes, it does. Yeah, and uh, of course, you talk to any football coach, you talk to any athletic coach, the uh, future of your program starts at this level. It's good to, uh, good to have them as part of the uh, festivities, and we're going to have them... Uh, of course, they are going to uh, be the guys you see under the Friday Night Lights coming up in the next three to four years. So good to uh, good to see them uh, in the parade as well. And man, we've, we've got a collection of candy. I think we just got a T-shirt. Got we a T-shirt from uh, Get Branded 360, yeah. which says Go Jays. You can stop by and get branded for your Jays, Jays gear, um, size baby through adult. Yep, we've, we've got plenty of Get Branded 360 gear in our closet, so happy to uh, have them uh, be a part of the uh, parade as well. And then, well, we got some uh, longtime Galen alums coming through. Yeah, class of 1963. We got a 64 um, Corvair car driven by Kathleen Sitzman Shaw with the royalty members of 1963, Rosemary Sitzman and her husband, Tony Hames. Awesome. Uh, it's great to have them back in town. And, uh, that has been uh, 60 years since they've graduated from Galen Catholic. So awesome. Then after that, it looks like uh, still kicking. They're still kicking. Yeah, absolutely. That's still, it does say it's still kicking on the back. It's awesome. Awesome to have them be a part. Uh, Titan Machinery is coming by. That uh, is a New Holland CR 8.90 combine that you're seeing on the video stream if you're watching on the KLEM Radio YouTube channel. That is presented by our friends at Titan Machinery in Lamar's. And then, of course, uh, some more Galen Catholic sports will follow Titan Machinery. Absolutely. Here we got the the famous Galen Catholic High School volleyball team. 
uh, a huge congratulations to our volleyball girls on a very successful season so far. Uh, you can catch them on Tuesday, October 10th at Hinton for one of their last regular season matchups. They've had a great season so far. Been to a lot of their home games, couple yep. away games. It's, it's just the energy in the student section is absolutely oh, awesome. Man. I love going to volleyball games. I love watching these girls, watching them play, watching them win. Yep. Um, it's just it's a great time, and this team has done amazing. Had a lot of success. Um, I hope they go far this year. I we hope, so too. hope to see them at state. Yep. Um, but yeah, we got volleyball girls. Yep. It's big congrats to them for a great season. Absolutely. Yeah. I, I will say I've been to a lot of volleyball games in uh, in years past, and. Um, Nobody does it like Galen Catholic student section wise, and yeah, that uh, that game against Hinton, big deal. War Eagle Conference titles on the line Tuesday night, so uh, make make the trip down to Hinton and support Galen Catholic volleyball. Next up, we have uh, Lance Sitzman Real Estate. Looks Miska, like. Muska, Muska, it's the Mickey Mouse Clubhouse on wheels. No, it's the Sitzman Real Estate Clubhouse. <laughs> the Sitzman Real Estate team and friends are cheering on the Galen Jays and wishing them a hot diggity dog win. Go Jays! Then we have uh, Habituate Coffee and Bakery, and of course, uh, that's the best way to wake up here in Lamar's with Habituate Coffee. Uh, you can start your day off right with them. Then we have, uh, well, of course, Hometown Christmas in Lamar's is coming up here in about a month. Yeah, uh, or two side months, by side I ministries. <laughs> the countdown to Christmas is on. Join us for Hometown Christmas right here in Lamar's on Saturday, November 25th, 2023. Yeah, I guess that's, uh, that's an, uh, almost two months, I should say. I'm getting a little ahead of myself. I'm just so excited for. Christmas, and Christmas that's, is that's upon us. Thanksgiving weekend, of course. So uh, <laughs> you, you, you can never get too early celebrated for the holidays, of course. So uh, again, uh, hometown Christmas in Lamar's is a great thing. And, uh, glad to have them uh, in the parade as well. So uh, then we have uh, some more dancers and some more uh, tumblers and things like that. Looks like Central Dance Academy is coming yeah. up next. Another uh, dance team in Lamar's. Central Dance Academy is located in downtown Lamar's, right above Collective & Co and they're entering their 41st year. Central Dance Academy offers quality dance education for dancers ages two through adult. They're proudly serving dancers in the Mars and the surrounding areas. They offer ballet, tap, jazz, tumbling, hip hop, modern, lyrical, contemporary, musical theater, POM, boys only, and adult classes. Stop by or visit their website at cdaiowa.com today. Yeah, lots of opportunities at Central Dance Academy. Uh, they're performing a little routine for you as they can't. They made our way through the uh, the video stream shot. I think someone even with your flexibility, Dan, could probably join that academy. I would like to think so, but uh, I, I guess I could maybe, maybe get that to get that figured out. Uh, then it's the, uh, of course, a, a very important part of Galen Athletics, the J Club coming by. The parents of student athletes is made makes up the J Club, and they fund all our sports and gear in grades seven through twelve. Um, they fundraise in multiple ways from uh, J Jams. Oh. J Jams, it's a bit windy here. <laughs> J Jams, football madness, alumni softball and golf ball, and softball and golf tournaments, to name a few. Uh, to get involved in J Club, contact school today. And, and following them, yep. sorry, nope. is American nope. Bank. Uh, show your school spirit with uh, Galen J's debit card. They are a proud sponsor of Galen Catholic. And we have the uh, the Rotary Club coming by. Uh, of oh. course, they uh, have nem a number of uh, scholarships uh, oh. that they provide each year, a service above self, of course, at the Lamar's Rotary Club. And then, of course, it's the best uh, float in the parade, the KLEM uh, float. <laughs> Yeah, these uh, footballs at Clem are hucking at people are sponsored by Van Holland Insurance Wealth Management. Yep, great to, uh, we love being a part of Lamar's and uh, love uh, love to put on these uh, these many events. So again, uh, the KLEM Mobile, that will be making its way to Fort Dodge this evening for some high school football. You can catch that right here on KLEM Radio. So uh, that is being driven by our lovely uh, general manager, that's Mr. Dennis Bullock, who is uh, who's making sure that... Uh, that he is, uh, he's making sure I'm saying some good things about him. So, <laughs> make, make sure uh, make sure we get on uh, the boss's good side. All right, following that is the men of the hour, Galen yes. Catholic High School football. Make sure to come out tonight at seven o'clock at Jim Lorenzen Field to cheer on our football team to a homecoming victory against South O'Brien and the Big Bad Wolverines. Let's get some cheers. There we go. There we go. <laughs> Electric energy. Very high electric. Football team. I, I think they're ready to go. Uh, that kickoff is in, a, in just a few hours. So it is, uh, again, a 7 o'clock kickoff against South O'Brien, looking to get their third district win of the year and hopefully uh, make the postseason this season. Uh, again, come on out and support that 7 o'clock tonight at Jim Lorenzen Field. And we have some more farm equipment coming our way, courtesy of AgriVision. AgriVision Equipment Group, your local John Deere store. They're here for all your agricultural and turf need for sales, service, and parts. Go Jays. Yep. And uh, again, it's great to have them 
as part of the uh, parade here in Lamar's. And then uh, we, we go from AgriVision to Ryan Installation. Ryan Installation, uh, let their team of experts take care of virtually all of your audio or video projects for your home or business. So they've done a lot of work at Galen with our sound system and everything, yep. and they always do a fantastic job. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, the sound system at Galen Catholic, fantastic in the gym and uh, for, for shows and concerts. So really good to uh, uh, have them uh, in the parade as well. What's after uh, Ryan Installation then? Now we got Northwest Bank, uh, a family-owned bank based in Spencer, Iowa, and proud to serve a growing number of locations in Iowa and Nebraska. The bank employees are active members of the Lamar's community, and our bankers make decisions locally, a commitment that you can bank on. Go Jays. Great. Uh, Northwest Bank, and a, a fantastic sponsor of KLEM and uh, programs on this station. And then uh, well, we have uh, Cent Credit Union, it looks like, coming up next. So Cent Credit Union cheering the Jays on to a victory tonight. Good to have them. Uh, in the parade today. And then uh, uh, some of our great friends, another uh, great sponsor of, uh, of uh, KLEM broadcasts and Galen Catholic uh, activities, that'd be a Century 21 ProLink coming up next. At Century 21 ProLink, their mission is to passionately build our communities to the highest quality real estate professionals. Their agent strives to offer the best service to their clients during all stages of the real estate process. Uh, that's looking at homes, purchasing a new home, and or selling an existing home. Their agents will be with you every step of the way and provide you the best customer service possible. Yeah, I can I can speak to that firsthand. Uh, they're great people at Century 21 Pro Link. And then, of course, Total Motors coming up. Total Motors is proud to sp support Galen Catholic both on and off the field. Have a safe and fun homecoming and stop by tonight's tailgate with Total Motors, American Bank, and Perspective Insurance for free will offering with chili, ham sandwiches, and cookie from 5.30 to 7 before the game. Oh, they picked a great meal for tonight on a chilly day. And it's the Lamar's uh, Backpack Program that feeds uh, hungry children in our community. Such a very uh, important program, and we're glad uh, they do what they do uh, to make sure our, our kids are well-fed and, uh, and don't, don't go home hungry. Uh, of course, that's the last thing we want uh, with children in our community. They do an outstanding job. Of, uh, of taking care of that for us. Then, of course, uh, Perspective Insurance coming our way, another uh, sponsor of the tailgate coming up. Let Perspective Insurance help you protect your happily ever after. Stop by our column for all of your insurance needs. Perfect. Uh, Perspective Insurance, again, with American Bank and Total Motors, sponsoring that tailgate starting at 530 tonight. And then it is, uh, well, it's Floyd Valley Healthcare. Floyd Valley Healthcare is a proud supporter of Galen Catholic School. Go Jays! Absolutely, yeah. They, uh, they do an outstanding job of taking care of us in the area, and uh, we're happy to have them uh, provide us uh, with some popcorn. Nice. Uh, we, we got quite the haul now. I, we are we are stocking up. It's uh, it's great. We're going to be a trash bag to take all this. <laughs> Yeah, we, we we don't have, we're not kids anymore. We can't we can't uh, we don't think about taking the, the bags with us anymore. Then uh, then we have the fine arts group coming our way. Uh, uh, the fine arts boosters are comprised of the art, band, choir, speech, and drama departments, and supported by parents, students, staff, and businesses who are dedicated to the advancement of the arts. They've received local, state, and national acclaim through the years. Their biggest fundraiser, for the annual turkey dinner, is scheduled for Sunday, October 30th. Um, once again, that is a drive-through this year. Be sure to join them for some great food. Well, perfect. Uh, the Galen Catholic Fine Arts uh, trailer coming our way. And let's, uh, again, thanks, take some time really quickly to thank some of our sponsors for bringing you this broadcast of the Galen Catholic Homecoming Parade, like Lily Zita Boutique, Simpatico Decor, Hummer's Lawn Care, Shop Carry Boutique, Felicimo's Coffee Works, Lolly's East Side, and M. Catton and Company. What's after the uh, Fine Arts? Uh, we got TCC Verizon at the corner of Highway 75 and Highway 3 are giving back to the community through grants and events. Uh, the Wet Nose Rescue, Northwest Iowa Legion Riders, and the IRCC are amongst those to receive grants in 2023 from TCC Verizon. Perfect. Uh, and then after, it's going to be the uh, the folks that will be leading all the cheers for us. Here we got the big black truck here, Galen Catholic Cheerleaders. The Galen Cheerleaders are fired up to cheer tonight. Come see them perform their dance routine before the kickoff of the football game, and they'll be cheering throughout the whole thing, getting the fans wired up, keeping the energy up. Yep. for a big win against the uh, Big Bad Wolverines. Yeah, we, we need the win against South O'Brien tonight, and uh, they will help make sure the energy is built up throughout the, uh, the throughout the game. Then, of course, it's the royalty yep, coming up next. some uh, cat calling from the <laughs> Galen Catholic royalty. Uh, we got queen candidates Shayla Dreckman, Nevaeh Hodgson, Ellen Hunt, and Aston Mosier. King uh -huh. candidates Dawson Bartho, Will Harpenau, Nolan Nils, and Aiden Rowland. MCs Larissa Poland and Chance Kelson. Crown bearers Cami Congren, Austin Carlson. <laughs> And your 2023 king and queen, Gabe Wilchin and Lindsey Ryder. There we go. Yep, they are robed up nice and warm. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> Good to have the, uh, the royalty stopping by. And, uh, again, 
uh, Gabe Wilch and Lindsey Ryder. Congratulations to them on being homecoming uh, king and queen. That's Lamar's Fire Rescue, and that will wrap up this 2023 homecoming parade. Again, we want to thank our sponsors for making it possible, like Highway 3 Nutrition, Budget Automotive, McCormick Distributing, Jim's Feed Supply, Van Sanitation, Dreckman Excavation, Love's Truck Stop, Little Rascals Preschool and Daycare, Kellen's Excavating, Timmins Construction, Old Glory Roofing, Langle Plumbing and Heating, Simonson Chiropractic, Gretkin Family Eye Care, New York Life Agent Al Potabom, High V, Wilchin Brothers Construction, Advance Eye Healthcare, Dr. Becky DeRider, and Lamar's Agri Center. We would like to wish good luck to our marching band competing tomorrow at the ISHMA State Marching Band Competition. And if you're not already, make sure to follow Galen Catholic on Facebook, Instagram, and YouTube. Once again, for about the umpteenth time, we're going to wish the Galen Catholic football boys <laughs> a good and successful game tonight. We're going to south of Ryan, hopefully taking the W. And uh, it's been a great homecoming. Lots yep. of fun to come. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, thanks so much for, for joining us, Braden. We absolutely. appreciate appreciate you uh, taking care of uh, the the uh, well all the all the great reading and uh, uh, making sure everybody knows what's coming by here on the parade. Again, that football game's at seven o'clock tonight. The tailgate at five thirty. Uh, the next time you'll hear from me, anyway, we'll be in Fort Dodge. Lamar's community takes on Fort Dodge in district football at Dodger Stadium. Until then. Any of our stag with you. Thanks for tuning in to the Galen Catholic 2023 Homecoming Parade here on KLEM Radio. Good afternoon, everyone. This has been coverage of the Galen Catholic Homecoming Parade. Thanks for joining us this afternoon. Special thanks to our sponsors, including Love's Truck Stop, Little Rascals Preschool and Daycare, Kellen's Excavating, Timmons Construction, Old Glory Roofing, Langles Plumbing and Heating, Simonson Chiropractic, Gretkin Family Eye Care, New York Life Al Potabom, High V, Wilchin Construction, Lamar's Agri Center, MRK Insurance, Nohava Construction, Pro Alignment and Tire, Rexwinkle Funeral Home, Scent Credit Union, Arnold Motor Supply, OC Detailing, Jammin Entertainment, Colbeck Hay and Grinding. Julie Hurt, Century 21 Pro Link, Guardian Angel Preschool and Daycare, Wicked Graphics, Lamar's Barber Shop, Floyd Valley Healthcare and Clinics, Sugar and Spice, Lily Zita Boutiques, Simpatico Decor and Gifts, Hummer's Lawn Care, Shop Carry Boutique, Felicimo Coffee Works, Lolly's Eastside, M. Catton and Company, Highway 3 Nutrition, Budget Automotive, McCormick Distributing, Jim's Feed Supply, Van Sanitation, Dreckman Excavating, and Advanced Eye Health, Dr. Becky DeRider.